spooky. That's what many things were as a child. A lot of random things were scary for me as a child, including this music. Well, not the music itself, but the game that revolves around it. Uh, Luigi's Mansion. I love this game, but in elementary, this game was so scary for no reason, even though it's like, it's so mild compared to all these other games that I've played or seen. It, it's just the atmosphere and just like, Luigi just humming the melody. Just out of fear. It's just like, there's so many elements that work so well as a child and they're just, it adds a lot of immersion. Nothing scares me anymore. But I'm just saying, it scared me quite a bit as a child. That's just a little, just a little, a little, a little bit. I don't know if many of you remember the piano in the haunted house level of Super Mario 64. I don't know if as a child you were just like me to where you walk up to it, trying to get to that red coin, and just get, and just get scared so badly that it was i don't know why nintendo did that to us it definitely made me not want to go to that room ever again nintendo is evil sometimes and i'm not talking about them just doing random things like shutting down some smash tournament but they're evil by putting that in the game talking about haunted houses though i have played a lot of tony hawk it's obvious by looking at my channel but in tony hawk's pro skater 3 in the level suburbia there is this haunted house you go into it and then you're like "Ooh, it's a bit different from the rest of the level but then you go into the house and it, that that definitely startled me quite a bit as a kid. Just seeing all these bats go around and this guy just being freaked out on the side. But more than that, there was this door that you could go through if you timed it just right. And it, for whatever reason, that scared me. But it didn't scare me as much as the Pro Skater 4 version of this did. In the level Carnival, you can go into the haunted house and that. But grinding the side of it, that scared me even more. I never touched that level ever again as a kid. Like, unironically, I did not touch that map ever again after I experienced that. I didn't touch it until like 8th grade or something. I... <laughs> On the topic of Tony Hawk, there was one more thing that scared me. Looking back at it, I don't fully see why, because even though the idea of these creatures are a, a bit on the scary-ish side. In Tornax Underground 2, in the level New Orleans, you can make it to where zombies appear by grinding all the crypts. The zombies are not scary whatsoever. They do not look scary. But as a kid, I could not complete that level with that. One time when I spawned the zombies, I just quit out and I started a new game, like a new career mode, so that I don't have to do that one time i was like okay i'll spawn the zombies but then i got too scared again and i got my brother to do it for me i i went upstairs be like hey hey big bro can you can you do can you clear the zombie part for me i don't like zombies uh so he did that i did overcome that fear but that wasn't the first time i experienced fear of zombies in any game the first time i experienced fear in zombies was Call of Duty Zombies. This was probably like second grade, maybe? Second or first grade. I was playing Call of Duty with my brother, uh, cause you know, he was kind enough to be, be like, yeah, I'll, I'll let you, I'll let you play it. He thought it would be very fun for us to play Call of Duty Zombies. We were playing the classic Kino Dertos, and who doesn't love that map? I mean, it's a lot of fun, but it did scare me a bit as a child, uh, not when I was playing it. When I was playing it, I, I found it very, very fun. It was after the fact to where they would appear in my dreams. What was weird about my dream is that it wasn't just like zombies were around in the world or I was in Kino der Toten or whatever. It, it was to where the zombies were crawling out of the TV from my brother's room and going to my room. The dream would stop there or the nightmare, I should say. I would just wake up and I'd be frightened of the fact that there's zombies. I think something that enhanced that fear a bit more was uh, I was playing with my other brother. We were playing Kino yet again because you know that's the only map we wanted to play on Black Ops One. Mainly, mainly because we were just we were really bad at five. But one time we we paused the game. The controller batteries were really low. They just kept on deactivating, so we took them out. The, uh, took out the battery pack. Once we did that, 
the zombies started moving again and that scared me so badly like when i was not only not only during like dreams or whatever but but during the actual gameplay i was so scared i i don't know i was not a big fan of zombies after the fact i i was fine playing them but the actual idea of them afterwards i don't know I was just scared of them. But on the topic of actual nightmares, there were two nightmares that would happen. I don't know why these were because they, I, I don't know. I don't know why they were scary and why they would reappear so often. They would appear in my dreams and then make me wake up. But the first one was just an eye, an open eye. And that's all it, it like, oh my gosh. Like there was a skin surrounding it, but it was just an open eye, just, dead center just looking at it with nothing else i don't it would go from that and then swap to another scene all my family just all grouped up where they're holding my brothers in their arms when they were like very young to where they could be picked up and it's just my mom dad my two brothers and just sitting there not sitting but just standing there i don't know if it was the house or if it was a town or whatever just all up in flames Think of kind of like a fate stay night kind of situation where Shiro is in this burning village, you know, I don't know, it'd just be kind of like an American suburbs or village or whatever, town, whatever you want to say. Them just looking at me kind of with a, with a sad, sad face, not like a, mm, or just like a actual depressed kind of face, just staring at me this is something i had since like kindergarten maybe before kindergarten both of these dreams both of these nightmares i i don't know it was just that it was just it doesn't make sense to me as to why these appeared because i didn't have a fear for fire i don't know i don't know oh one thing that did scare me quite a bit as a child was the sonic x ghost episode if you've seen all of sonic x you know what I'm talking about. They go to this mansion. Some of the characters get like abducted or just like possessed or whatever. They get sucked into this wall or something. There's all these ghosts. And that scared me so much as a child. It was really due to the faces that made it to where it was just showing that they were possessed. It was something, it was just something that really struck something with me or something. I don't know how to describe it. It was just, it scared me. That's all. But it was not only that, it was also things like, I remember being really scared of weeping angels. This was like elementary. I didn't watch Doctor Who myself, but my brother did and I would, uh, you know, he would be watching it in the living room and I would walk in and I would see some Doctor Who and I enjoyed a lot of the ideas about it. But then there was the weeping angels. Those things are still terrifying to this day. It's just something about them. You have these statues, and you know, they're pretty terrifying statues, but to add on top of that, if you look away, if you blink, if you just, for, for the smallest second, if you look away, I forget exactly what happens, I don't know if they just kill you or if they transform you into a statue themselves, yourself or whatever, but if you blink, you're done so. Nope, eh, eh, dead. Uh, or actually, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it, what happens, but you're done. So there's yeah. But it wasn't only that. It was also like Zelda Redeads uh, from like Ocarina of Time and Wind Waker. Especially the Wind Waker ones. Well, I can't say especially because I really was scared of both of them. I played quite a bit of both. I played Ocarina of Time more, or like I didn't play it more, but I found the Redeads to be a lot easier to find mainly because they were in the more earlier stages of the game. I think it was due to the fact that Link would stop when you would awake a re-dead and then they would just climb on top of you and they would just like eat you kind of thing. They would grapple you and I don't know, just drain your life away. They don't scare me anymore because I'm a buff man. I'm really strong, but I just don't know. I, w I was very scared about that. I do remember that. I remember the feeling of being frightened of these creatures, but something that I don't really understand why scared me had to be this game called Lego Racers. Uh, I had it for the N64, and you may be wondering what in the world 
scared you about that game. It was the atmosphere of creating your car with the music, the goofy music behind it. I, uh, I gotta see this again because I don't remember why I was scared of LEGO Racers. It's LEGO Racers, man. How is that scary? Another silly one was Hero Brian. Huh? Yes, you heard that right. The Steve skin with just the white eyes. I kid you not, I was not scared of it, except for I believed in just one specific world on my Xbox 360 that he was in it for no reason. I had it on my computer, I had it on my phone, I had it on my 360, but it was only, it was only one specific world on the 360 that I, for whatever reason, believed he was in. I made something that was in Stampy's lovely world. My friend tried to make Dan TDM's lab from like 2013 and stuff. I made Skyblock, a very ugly Skyblock. I made a home, I made this like dance party thing in like the middle of the mountain or something. There's like, there's nothing that would give off the vibe of Herobrine and being in it. But something I do understand why I was a bit scared of. It was the game over scene of the N64 Star Wars game. Let me look at the name. Shadows of the Empire. Now, I was never good at this game as a kid. I tried to play it again to find out it was not just my imagination as a kid that it actually is a very difficult game. Here's the game over scene. This face scared me so bad as a child. It was so scary for whatever reason. No, it's not just for whatever reason. It, there's a, it, it looks scary. I mean, I'm not scared of it anymore, but it still gives off that vibe for me. And it reminds me of the scary maze game. I remember my friend in elementary showing me scary maze game and scaring me so bad I would run into the next room. This room actually, I, I would be in the living room and he would be playing it and I would run to this room and hide in the corner facing the wall covering my eyes well covering my ears that it's not a joke I actually did that I did that right down there and you don't know where down there is but it's right down there you know <laughs> I don't know these were just some things that scared me and I wonder, I wonder, first of all, did any of these things scare you? Whether it's from any of these games, whether it's the Weeping Angels or Sonic X or whatever, or somehow you had the same nightmares as me, I doubt you did, but you know. I definitely was not the strong kid, but I'm strong and buff now. I got all the muscles. You can see that, you see, oh, yeah, I'm Mr. Muscle Man. That's about it. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Vex, and yeah, stay goaded.